hello there and welcome back to my channel so today I have something a little bit different so I was very kindly contacted by the TDI brand they specialize in colored contact lenses so they contacted me and asked would I like to try out some of their colored contacts I so I've never tried contact lenses before, believe me, I've tried. I've put in a really, really good effort to try colour contacts before, but I just, I couldn't get them in. So I was a little bit hesitant at first because I was like, well, do you know what? Maybe I'm not the best person to be showcasing their contacts because A, like I've never been able to get contact lenses in before and by golly gosh, I've tried. Like I'm going to link down below in the description to a video of me and honeys trying for maybe like two hours to try and get some contact lenses in and we still didn't get them in. I was a little bit hesitant because I was just thinking well I don't know if I am the best person for this but then I just thought you know what I'm a trier and I'm going to try. So I had a look around their website, I picked out four different shades of contacts and they have arrived. I am wearing like, oh my gosh yes, I got them in. You're thinking, did you get them in? Oh my gosh yes, I got them in. Um, there's a technique and there's a video, I'm going to link as well down below to the video that I found online which was extremely helpful in very kind of simply telling you the technique to get the contacts in and I watched that video and I got them right in so yeah I'll definitely link you to that video downstairs but today I'm wearing the pearl grey shade these are my favourites out of the four I have tried the other three so I am going to show you kind of what they look like a little bit later on in the video I just wanted to give you a little bit of a review in a way and I just feel like oh my gosh I'm probably not the best person to give a review because I've never worn contacts before and it'd be kind of like a person that has just passed their test and only ever driven in one car it'd be like them doing a review of another car or would it I mean not really because they've driven a car it'd be like someone do you know what no forget everything I'm saying I think that anyone can give a review on it on anything apart from a non giving a review on a dildo. So as I said, like I have such limited non, like no, zero experience in contacts. So I did find that these were a little bit tricky to get in. But as I said, I watched that video, it really made it so much easier. The, the idea is, is that after washing your hands thoroughly, of course, you get the contact and you kind of balance it on your index finger. And then you use your thumb and your, I don't know the name of this finger so I'm just going to call it the feck you finger because this is the finger we feck people off with. So you get your feck you finger and you get, am I doing it right here? Da, da. Wait, it doesn't feel right. Oh no you don't, forget what I'm saying. You get the feck off finger, see what I mean? Such an amateur, like really. You get your feck off finger on the other hand you get your contact on this hand and you use your index finger on this hand. Oh my gosh, could I... <laughs> do you know what? I'm just going to link you to the video down below. But essentially, you use your fingers. So you open up you open up like this. So your eyeball is there and you can really see it. And then you get this finger and you just kind of pop it in. And I've made that look really easy but sound extremely difficult. What I will say is that I can definitely feel the contacts are in there. I've not worn them yet for more than four hours because the information that I'm about to tell you I did find on trusty old Google. So I would definitely encourage you to not take everything I say as being a hundred percent fact. Do your own research because I literally am one contact lens amateur telling you what I found in a quick Google search but I did read that you are not really meant to leave contacts in for more than four hours on the first time that you use them but I've kind of extended that 
really and whenever I've kind of worn them I've not worn them for longer than four hours just because I read one one thing right one piece of information when I was looking up what are the risks with contacts and apparently like one of the main risks if you leave them in too long is that they can dry onto your eyeball and you cannot remove them and the thought of that happening freaked me out so that's why I now like I don't wear them for longer than four hours you can definitely feel them in your eyes like you could definitely feel like there's something there but it's not painful it's not a bad feeling it I wouldn't say it's uncomfortable but it's it's not as comfortable as just when you've got your own eyeballs in there you know you like you could definitely feel there's someone else in there you know what I mean I really really like these um I don't know if something oh I feel like this one isn't quite it's not quite on properly somehow does that look a bit better I don't know they sent me a box and in the box I had the four different coloured contacts and they also included some really like cute little, oh Shania, some cute little like stickers. Uh, this is a little hand mirror so I feel like loads of cute little free gifts. And you also get a little kind of storage pot duo to store your contacts in. So yeah, you get one of these with every kind of pair of contact lenses you get and I, because I am now a professional contact lens wearer, I very responsibly went onto Amazon and I treated myself to a bottle of this and I don't really know what this is. Uh, I think it's just, is it contact lens solution? Is that what they call it? This is by Renu. It seemed to have the highest customer ratings of any of the other contact lens solutions. So this is the one that I went for and I've just been putting a little bit of this in the storage with the contact lens so that it doesn't dry and it can stay like lubricated in there, I think is the idea. So I got this and I would recommend you get some of that too if you're going to be a responsible contact lens wearer too. So yeah, I mean, the TDI brand seems to be legitimate. Um, the contact lenses, although I don't have anything to directly compare them to because it's not like my first experience, I would say that um, I don't know, like they feel like good quality, like they've been in my eye and I'm not blind yet. So I feel like that's something, isn't it? But I mean, I'm sorry that, like I can't really give you any more about them other than like these are the pearl grey ones and I like them. So anyway guys, I'm going to cut to the rest of the footage with me A. Actually, I've got some like a story of footage. I've got the footage of me trying to get these in for the first time, disaster. I think I've got a little bit of footage just immediately after I got them in for the first time. But of course, I wasn't filming when I actually got it in for the first time because by that point I'd long given up and I'd lost the will to live and I didn't feel like I was ever going to get it in. So of course, I stopped filming in it went. So I've got that. I've got a video of like after the first few hours of me wearing like the first one and then I'm just going to show you footage of the other shades. The price of these contacts seems to range between about £25 and £35. Again I can't really tell you how that compares to other contact lenses but in a way like I feel like with contact lenses like you want to be paying a little bit more because I don't know if I would necessarily trust a, like a £3 pair of contact lens lenses I don't think I would trust them so I feel like it's kind of unless TDI are ripping us off but I don't think they are I don't think they are but anyway guys so these are the contacts I really really like them definitely go check out TDI if you want to investigate maybe getting some contact lenses for yourself I will leave all of the pertinent information in the description box down below uh, thank you for watching the video and I'm going to send you over to the rest of the footage
oh my gosh, I can't believe I actually did it. I did it. Oh my gosh, this is the first time. My hair feels very strange because I've never worn a contact before. So it's a bit watery, but I did it and I'm just so happy about it. But I imagine it takes a little bit of getting used to, so... Oh my gosh, guys. I love it though. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I finally got the contacts in and I'm just going to wear them like for a few hours. They do feel a little bit strange and the boys don't quite understand them. But I'm just going to wear them for... No. <laughs> Only because they still feel the same. Well, in fact, it does feel like... I can definitely feel like I've got something going on in my eyes. But I'm going to just wear them for a few hours and I have no idea how to when take them up, out. So there's that how do you as well. Know? I mean, I've got them in. I don't really know how they come out. But they're in. So that's the main thing for now. Maybe you have to keep them in forever. Oh, maybe, <laughs> maybe. They do feel a bit strange, though. It kind of feels like I've a kind of got... Boy. Yeah, you can tell they're in. Like, it, you can definitely tell they're in. But I'm a bit worried that one of them is just going to, like, pop out randomly. Like, like when you're wearing falsies and you're worried that a falsie is just going to, like, pop right pop. off. But, hey, what do you think, pop, Jay? Pop, 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 Jay, pop, Jay, pop. Jay, what do you think? Do you recognise me still as mum? Yeah. Good. That's all Boy, that matters. Just black around. <laughs> like the... Like the size, it's black. Oh. Wow, oh. very strange, very strange. But I just think, you know, in terms of, like, popping them in, I think once you've done it once, <laughs> then, um... Then you probably know what you're doing. Yeah. I don't recognise myself fully right now. I do. I love you lots. I... Anyway, we're going to go to football. Yeah. Okay, so we're just at Dre J's football match. Although, me and Alex have retired to the car because it's absolutely freezing. It's so cold outside. But just to give you a little bit of an update. So, the contacts, they're feeling a lot more kind of comfortable now and not as strange. But I, like, I could definitely like feel them, particularly like, when I move my eyes. But... I'm enjoying them and I still can't quite believe that I actually got them in. Can you, Alex? What do you think of mummy's eyes? Oh yeah, Alex is um enjoying some sweeties. But yeah, so so far like I'm really enjoying the contacts. My dad didn't like them because he said that he can't see my eyes, which is a fair point, I suppose. And he's just thinking, oh my gosh, what is this thing now and when he's doing like what is she doing now? But Anyway, we will go. What's that face? So oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, 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 go. Here we go, here we go, here we, here we go, go. Alex, you want to say bye? <laughs> okay, so I got the contacts in finally. Um, I've had them in for almost, uh, probably like three hours and I believe that the first time you try contacts you should not leave them in for longer than four hours uh, just whilst your eyes accumulate to them I don't know I believe that after you're kind of used to wearing contacts you can leave them in for like 12 hours don't quote me on any of this because I just got this info from a google search so I don't know if this is correct and I would definitely double check this with an optometrist like an eye specialist so yeah, but that's the information that I found. So I am going to take out the contacts now. I'm saying that like it's an easy thing. I just, I don't know. I feel like it probably won't be as difficult as putting them in, but I still don't think it's going to be easy. I've washed my hands very, very well, and I have my little parts ready to pop the contacts into. So, oh my gosh, like guys, just the thought of like, it's kind of like, you know, imagine like the idea of like just pulling out your eye. Like that's how I feel at that. Oh, that's how I'm feeling about this right now. Oh. 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 Okay, right. Okay, let's do this, right. So I think I just have to go like this. Oh my gosh, that was so easy. Oh my gosh, that was so easy. Here we have the contact. Oh, guys, and this is me, like, 
Oh, which eye was that? That's my right eye. So I've got to make sure I put the contact in the right place because the two caps of the holder are identified like right and left. So I, I want to make sure that I put the contact in the right one so I don't contaminate my eyes or something. Again, I got all of this information from Google, so it may or may not be correct. To show you as well, so that you could see, we have one eye done and one eye not done. So you can see like, if I come closer to my light, there's quite a big difference between my eyes. Um, when I try the other pair of contacts, like, cause I've got four different shades, I will, uh, well, I'm gonna try them all. Look at me, Mrs. Ambitious now, Mrs. Confident with applying contact lenses, but I'm hoping to try them all. So let's try this. Ah. Oh my gosh, what's going on? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. What, what's going on? Oh shit. Oh shit. This is like something of a horror movie. I'm so sorry if you get freaked out by stuff like this. Oh my gosh, there we go, we did it. Oh, wow. Wow, I'm so pleased that that was so easy to do. I'm so pleased. Okay, so I've got my little contacts in the little contact holders and I'm gonna put my right cap on the one that was in the right eye and my left cap that was on the left eye. So there we go. Should I put some contact solution in here? Like I feel like I should. Anyway, guys, so the first time I wear contacts, I feel like it was very positive indeed. I'm really looking forward to trying out the other ones and I will now show you videos of me with the other ones in. Again, I have no idea at this point if I'm actually gonna get them in, but if I do, you will be seeing the videos right now. <music> in and there's something not quite right with this with this one it was an absolute nightmare to get in and it's just not comfortable at all and I, I don't know what it is guys I, and I promise I'm not just being dramatic here like there's just something not quite right with it I don't know what it is but oh I don't know if I can keep these in but anyway these are the green ones just so that you can see um I don't know what the problem is over here but I like them. I think they're really, really nice. I, it's just fecking me right off. The amount of time it took me to get in the left one and the fact that it's so it's not comfortable. So, feck it. I mean, feck it. But here we go. Ta-da! Okay, so overall, I really, really enjoyed trying out all of the contacts. I was so surprised at how easy they were to apply and I don't think that's necessarily something to do with this specific brand of contacts i just think maybe i watched a really good tutorial on how to put in contacts so i owe it all to that tutorial you would definitely say that based on the quality the look the packaging the way that the contacts came to me i would definitely say that if you're in the market for buying some contacts or maybe you've never tried contacts before and you're just really, really keen to give some a go, I would definitely recommend TDI based on my experience, based on research that I've done about the brand um, and just based on my interaction with the brand, I would definitely recommend. So, um, oh, I thought there was something black on my face and also I think my ring light's flashing. So I'm incredibly sorry about that, but these contacts are definitely not an everyday kind of wear for me. I'm not gonna be just popping them in, you know, just as part of my daily routine, but I definitely will be using them and enjoying them. So I'm really, really 
glad that I've got them, but my favorite pair were definitely the pearl gray ones. I would say that if you've got naturally kind of darker eyes or like my eyes are hazel, so they're kind of like a greeny brown. Um, I would I would definitely say that kind of I'd, I'd probably be I'd probably be inclined to encourage you to go for the lighter maybe kind of veering on the more unnatural looking shades because I do feel like you know the the kind of foresty green or the the blue they don't really show up too well if you've got darker eyes normally so I would definitely encourage you to go a bit lighter than maybe you would think just because I think the lighter you go the more of a spectacle your eyes will look you know the more of an experience the more of a, an extravaganza you know your eyes will look so that's just like my recommendation but anyway I'm gonna go thank you so much to TDI for sending me these contact lenses I almost said lashes but thank you so much to them I hope that you're all well safe feeling positive amongst the crisis that we have going on right now. I started filming this video, I think it was back in like February and it's just kind of taken me a while, you know, to like try all of the different lenses and a lot, a lot has changed since the beginning of the video and now. I just want to say that given the current state of the world right now, I hope that you're all doing well and uh, just managing to get through it taking it a day at a time and um, I hope you and your loved ones are happy and well. So anyway, I'm going to go. Thank you so much for watching the video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!